Queen Margrethe II of Denmark, Europe's longest-serving monarch, shocked the world last September by stripping four of her eight grandchildren of their official titles, seemingly completely unexpectedly. Margrethe is the mother of two sons, Crown Prince Frederick and Prince Joachim. It is the offspring of Joachim, her youngest son, who by her decision should no longer bear the titles of prince and princess, stating that this is to ensure that they live away from the spotlight. With her decision, Her Majesty the Queen wants to set the stage for the four grandchildren to be much more able to determine their own existence without being constrained by the special considerations and obligations that a formal affiliation with the royal house as an institution implies, the palace said at the time. This means that Prince Joachim's four children, 23-year-old Nicholas, 20-year-old Felix, 13-year-old Henrik, and 11-year-old Athena, now bear the title Count and Countess of Montbazat. Despite her specific explanation, questions sprinkled in. What do the children think about it? And what are they going to do next? All of this is reminiscent of Harry and Meghan. First, the Harry and Meghan comparison may not be that far off. When it first happened, a palace statement said that other royal houses influenced their decision. The Queen's decision is consistent with similar changes that other royal houses have made in different ways in recent years, the statement said. Secondly, the children look, by and large, fine. The eldest Prince Joachim, 23-year-old Count Nicholas, is living life to the fullest, vacationing, modeling and even breaking traditional royal protocol by joining Instagram and people appreciated it. Nicholas first appeared on the app four weeks ago, posting a shot of him walking the runway for Burberry with the caption, five years ago. My first runway for Burberry. Commentators rushed to support Nikolai, who many called his eternal prince. Since then, he has posted candid photos of himself vacationing in the Alps, for at least five weeks, skiing and relaxing with friends. Three weeks later, he returned to the mountains for a family vacation with his younger siblings, where the kids can be seen frolicking in the snow and spending time in a secluded cabin. In between ski trips, Nikolai spends his free time as a model, he recently did a shoot for Dior, he's a fashion house favorite and appeared on the cover of Vogue Scandinavia. He also added another Vogue name to his repertoire in February, appearing in the pages of Vogue Czechoslovakia in outfits by Dries Van Noten and Cartier. And now it looks like Nikolai's younger brother Felix is following in his footsteps. He has just become the face of the latest collection of the Danish jewelry brand George Jensen, using blue steel in his silver chains. Meanwhile, Nicholas' father and stepmother have sparked new comparisons to Harry and Meghan after a rumor broke that they might move to America. Prince Joachim and his second wife, Princess Marie Cavalier, are said to be planning to move to America after Joachim got a job in the defense industry in Washington. This was first reported by the Danish newspaper BT, but Princess Marie later denied the rumors, putting an end to them. Nothing has been confirmed, nothing has been announced, so, the rumors, are not coming from us, she told Paris Match. So, okay, they won't be Harry and Meghan's roommates anytime soon, and America won't be an unofficial retired royal residence, but what can we expect from the royals? If Nicholas is to be believed, they will easily move into the category of those closest to official royal status, they will become influential people.